almost lost for words and that don't happen often but we are truly elated with this victory we're really grateful for Brenlec's approach to the debates the impromptu debates I think it brought out the best in all the debaters across the schools and it showcased that our young people have talent ability and they have depth the Grenada Boys Secondary School accumulated 338 points, 26 points more than their opponents to emerge winners of the Grand Lake debate. The Grand Lake debate was hosted under the theme Independence, with a focus on government's systems. As the finalists went head-on in the final day, Westmoreland Secondary School had to settle for second place with 312 points. Friday's final showdown followed nine exciting weeks, featuring four rounds of intense competition among 22 secondary schools. Acting principal of the GBSS, Kenneth Dubasset, shared these sentiments following his school's victory. Certainly, I, I want to express my personal and also our schools, on our school's behalf, our profound appreciation for the sacrifice, commitment, the dedication, the perseverance. In fact, our team had the challenge of the flu um, coming into this week, and still the boys, you know, they were committed to coming out. We did all the extra fluids and, and, and medication and so, and today, I think it, it, it paid off. Bryce Forrester received the Debater of the Match Award. He won an iPad. All team members were delighted about the victory. It was very good. I'm very proud of my team and my coaches. And without my team and the grace of God, we couldn't have got it. And I'm happy that I won it from my school again. It feels good to win, of course. <laughs> it's a team effort. And we all did well. We all played our part. And we now reap the results. Very ecstatic. I'm super proud of the boys. I'm really, really, really proud of them. I can't, what can to say how I feel about them right now? I am so happy. I am so proud of them. Second place, Westmoreland Secondary said they are not daunted. Although they did not win the competition, it was quite a learning experience for them. From, from inception, from the very debate, I always told the students, we're just going out to do our best. And I think that's exactly what they did today. And as I told them, sometimes your best will give you first, and sometimes your best will not give you first. But nonetheless, we have been telling them from the onset that they are winners. And even though we didn't come home with the trophy, we're still winners because we, um, we grew from step to step as we, we progressed through this debate. Overwhelming, and I'm very happy that we did our best. It was a long period, nine weeks as you indicated, but the students did well and we are very proud of them. It's a, definitely a proud moment for all of us. Second place finalists, both debaters and coaches, will receive certificates of excellence and Dell Latitude laptops. Debaters each received $600 education vouchers, while the school received a $12,000 GCPI school project award. The champions, inclusive of both debaters and coaches, receive certificates of distinction and Apple MacBook Pro laptops. Debaters each received $800 education vouchers, while the school received a $30,000 GCPI school project award and the coveted challenge trophy. The final will be rebroadcast on GBN television on Sunday from 4 p.m. It will also be broadcast on GIS and available for viewing on Grenlex YouTube channel. Christina John. GBN